Hey guys, Monkey Boys back on the Intricate Effects server. Nice. Look around, ladies and gentlemen. We are we are coming to the point where we are going to be done digging in here. I hate this place. I really do. It's really messed with my psyche. My my mental toughness has left me. Thank goodness Agent A came and he helped. Uh, dig out a lot of this. Uh, it wasn't very long ago that this hole straight across there all the way to the top was full with just nothing but but nether rack. Uno momento, let me check on these sounds. I'm not really... Oh wait, nope. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's see if we can get the creatures down. Uh, I think that's probably a little more manageable. So, Agent A came over and we went to digging, I think, uh, yesterday evening and uh, pretty much got the rest of this taken out. Our next project will be putting the color we want around the edges and all the way up across the ceiling. I'm still in a little bit in debate on what I want to do, but I almost want to do like an environment around the edge here, you know, different biomes, and then maybe try to make the top look more like sky. Um, it kind of depends. The honest truth is I'm a little bit, a little bit done with this project right now. It's been a huge, huge project. So right now I'm just taking off what's left of this border. Uh, I use the dirt as a, basically a little painter's tape, you know, Make sure we keep all the good stuff inside the painter's tape. So it's it's pretty cool. But what I think I want to do, I made up my mind, we're not going to work on this dad, this guy for a little bit. I think I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to let it set for a second. And you know, sometimes just letting it set for a little bit will help us in determining um, what we really want to do with it. So. But the worst part of the job's done, and that's the digging part, where there's really nothing you can do but dig. And I know that I haven't put up a video, uh, but I just wanted to get this dug out. So all week I've been slacking on the video thing. But what we're gonna do is after I get this finished up, just taking this painter's tape here off the edge, is I want to go to my awesome ooh I'm gonna have to knock those two out my awesome place for my summer home and I kind of want to get a feel for that maybe do a little mining and kind of see what's underneath maybe we can get lucky enough to find a spawner close by you know skelly spawner at home would be amazing so it was a lot of work a lot of dumb work you know the the fun Probably the most fun about this game is whenever you can do something and then you, as you're kind of walking away, you keep t turning your head and you're like, ooh, that looks good. Turn your head again, oh, that looks nice. When you're digging stuff out, no, didn't get any of that. It was kind of like, uh, it just, because of the farther you get from something, the smaller it looks. So we're down here and that doesn't look like a lot, but it was a ton. It was a ton, even down here. I mean, we are ways away from up there. And uh, nope, didn't, didn't look like we did a whole lot. So it was hard to walk away and feel like you've accomplished something. So we got it dug out. We're gonna, we're gonna let this rest for a second. Um, really, besides the tunnels coming in, um, there might be, uh, this thing should be spawn proof. There shouldn't be any mobs in here. And then down here, somebody claimed a tunnel. Check it out. And looks like we got ourselves a new member. Uh, looks His name is Sigcraft, is what he has on there. And so uh, check out his channel. Yep, it's all my fault that darn pigment's in here. You jerk. I'll have to work on the tunnel, but again, that's in the nether. So what a bunch of 
bull hockey. What a bunch of nothings. So here's what I got. I've made myself, I got, I got a butter knife and I've also got myself the nether knife. Now what I found out about renaming your tools, uh, especially with trying to dig all this out, I probably went through at least a stack if not more of diamonds. Uh, you rename your tool and I could repair it with two diamonds um, and it would it only take 25 experience points every time and it still hasn't changed as long as I don't let it get down too far. But even when I repair it with two diamonds, you know, you get it to a point where it'll almost repair it completely but not all the way so you don't waste any of your diamonds. That worked out just great. Alright, so here we are. This is where we are going to start a new project kind of break up the monotonous of the nether hub and a lot of this I gotta stay focused I need to have some discipline um, I think I want to use every aspect of this probably from I would imagine you know probably all the way out here and then work our way in and I want to do more of design work on most of this and of course on the inside it's going to be functionable uh, and and hopefully uh, the design will come out too the reason why I got to kind of stay disciplined is because you know normally I my mind takes me into a point where it's like I kind of want to take out that big nub there and um, you know kind of square off the inside here and that kind of thing but I really just want to use the terrain almost for what it is and kind of just do a facelift on every one of these sides and just get some really cool stuff going on so that's gonna be a huge project and obviously it's gonna be ongoing um, and then inside the actual walls of this whole thing that's where we're gonna look to see if we can get um, a little more Ooh, this is cool too. Uh, a little more of our home going, so let's see what's over this way. And eh, just a little cave. And let's see where that comes out. It's getting dark, so it's probably a good idea to go down into a cave anyways. So I've been real busy at work and staying focused on uh, my priorities in life, and that's another reason why I, did. I haven't done a whole lot of recording lately. And you know, a lot of things have come to mind, especially lately, um, as I'm kind of looking at what's going on in the world and with America, uh, you know, there's some things that kind of, they're a little bit disturbing. Um, I got a joke that I uh, kind of say right now, and <clears throat> it's kind of like people giving out trophies for participation. You know, you kind of, all the kids that play sports anymore. Ah, oh, is this whole thing dead? Ah, this is not going to be good. We'll have to see if there's another way. You know, they talk about the kids uh, just showing up to play sports. And even if they lost every game and even if they, uh, you know, didn't do that well on the team individually, um, finding out that, Everybody wants to give everybody a trophy just for showing up. And I, I, it just really bugs me. Bugs me to no end because, you know, it kind of creates the work ethic of America to be just flat lazy. You know, the way I was raised is if you wanted something, you'd have to go out and earn it. So if you wanted a trophy, you needed to work hard um, and, and be, be one of the better players. Uh, or work hard as a team and the whole team goes out and, and earns a trophy anything good no we might have to take another route here let's go down in here it's where my portal ended up originally so maybe we'll check this out again so you know it's kind of frustrating to me I'm in for work, I'm in retail management and I'm finding that a lot of people anymore just want things for free. They don't want to have to work for the things they have. Ooh, that's going to be good all the way down there. 
and we'll leave that water there. It might be a little elevator. But they don't want to work. They don't want to work for what they got. They don't want to stay focused. Um, even like some some folks that play Minecraft and do YouTube videos, you know, I've heard people say, well, YouTubers lose focus. Well, it's called discipline. If you want to do something, you put your mind to it and you get the job done. You don't, you don't just go, oh, I don't feel like doing anything today. You just got to get over it and uh, put the work in. And so I'm kind of ranting, you know, a little bit of rant about how people can get and how, uh, you know, there's free rides. And I think anymore in today's uh, world, uh, we're finding people thinking that that's more acceptable, that we can go ahead and give somebody uh, things for not doing anything. You know, there was this lady that was in the news. She has a ton of kids, and I can't quote it exactly how many kids, but she has a ton of kids, and she thinks that somebody should pay for those kids. Um, but it was her choice. I mean, it's not like she accidentally had, like, 15 kids. It's not like an accident. I mean... I'm going to use this one instead. She had to do something to get those kids, so why does she have to be accountable for the kids? You know, that's, that's the kind of stuff that irritates me, and I think, you know, even with how we treat the kids in sports and, and participation trophies, and it's just that's what creates that kind of environment and makes our country lazy, you know? So I'm over here, uh, you know, crying about it. But anyways, you know, that's definitely something that I think uh, when we're teaching the kids and working with them, if they don't get a trophy for participation, well, maybe they need to work a little harder. Oh, great. Spidey. I don't even have... Oh, you got me, too. Oh, you got me, too. Dude, I'll play this game. What do you got? What do you got? Who else you got? You know, I'll take some spider in the face as long as that means there's a spawner, because I like spawners. Oh, where are you at? Oh, is that me? That was me. Okay. I'm throwing blocks. I'm doing all kinds of stuff. I'm getting reckless up in here. All right. Let's see what we got. We need a little light, don't we? Right here. Oh, crap. Wow. Whoo. I heard footsteps, which usually creepers don't give out footsteps. That was, that was crazy, man. Whoo. All right. I think my, my heart's beating pretty stinking fast right now. Let's hurry up and get some more torches made up so we can continue on. Wowzer. That was, that was nuts, man. I was like, I'll stop for a second. I'm like, you know, because I had to use the magic of video to go uh, get some wood. And, uh, yeah, and I heard footsteps. I'm like, what is that? I'm not used to those. And sure enough, it was a creeper dude. Like, there he is again. There's a couple of them. Oh, he died. Just enough of my... My bow and a little fallen, and he is done. Okay, I hear zombies, which... It's a pretty cool sound. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, you know what? I don't even have a sword in my inventory, you knucklehead. Get off me. I'm gonna have to pickaxe him to death. Why do I not have a sword in my inventory? Man, when I move stuff out of my inventory, I need to pay more attention. Goodness gracious, we're gonna have to go... Find a little bit of safety. So let's just go this way. Because we need to eat a touch. Now let's go to a not so wide open area for a second. We can kind of control our environment. Okay. I hear him talking. I've been messing with the video settings, so I hope you guys can hear. Oh, right over his noggin. Well, this thing's got some knockback on it. What is this thing? Yeah, power four. Little punch two. Whoa, okay. Enough looking at my stuff whenever these guys coming out. You know, you would hope that there's a spawner as much as these guys come out. Under the latest snapshot, I'm not exactly sure how... 
Ooh, you want to go too, don't you? All right. Well, I'll just make me take my butter knife to you. Ooh, you got me though. Ooh, I felt that. That was good. Mmm, I like it. I mean, uh, get you flowing, get your energy up, right? Ooh, that goes down. I like that. There's some butter. Now these little knuckleheads, man, they just keep coming, don't they? I blamed both of my deaths, you know, all 36 of them on the nether. So I really can't be dying in a cave. And then still blaming. Oh, cool. Oh, ouch. All right, it's getting violent. All right, we need some, uh, this is exciting. This is what we call fun. Hmm. We need food. And let's get some light in here. They're gonna be falling on our noggins left and right, so. Looks like one creeper took out another, so we wanna, if we see that other creeper, oh wait, he's dead. I was gonna say maybe we thank him. Oh, who are you? Might as well use up this gold sword that I took off a zombie pig man. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go back this way. I want to stay low. What level are we on now? We zone 25 going down to 24. So we're pretty we're pretty low. We're in a pretty good level. So this is good, man. This is a pretty good shaft under here. Definitely it'll be my mining spot. You see me now? You see me now? I see spider eyes back there too. Oh no, that's a zombie. I mean a uh, Enderman, which I do need an ender chest. Boy, this is just like, let's kill him. Let's kill him. All right, let's see what we got. Oh my goodness, now you're coming from all directions. The other thing that I understand is that witches may spawn in caves now. So that's depressing. I didn't sleep, I don't know where my bed is actually yeah he's an enderman he's a creeper ooh that was a one shot and knock your noggin alright that's a spider though isn't it how come he died so easy I didn't even see that arrow go that wasn't a headshot there we go Woo! Man, I'm getting pumped up about all this, man, I tell you. What do you want? Somebody's gonna come in from behind while I'm trying to kill this dude. At least you can hear creeper footsteps, but I, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a bug. That's gonna be a bug that they're gonna wanna fix. All right, so that's the hole I went down. We're back to some sort of organization here. I'm gonna go up light up both sides of this one. Keep ourselves in order here and let's go did we turn right at this point no let's do that okay cool lava we like a little lava we don't like mobs though they're bad and that's not the lava i was particularly looking for let's see if we can yeah can't step that down let's do can we uh, yep okay Maybe that'll get us down here. Yes, it sure does. Oh, yeah. See, you hear his voice. He's got footsteps. Oh, crap. Man. I definitely should bring a better sword. I like bringing the spoon into the fight, man. Spoons are awesome. They are fantastic. Let's see what else we got. Hmm. All that nether work's got me lazied up on this battle tactics, I'll tell you. Alright, good. Are we on... We're on 11 now, baby. So just bring me some, some diamonds. Oh, goodness gracious. Get out of my life. Ooh. How am I out of, I think I'm out of arrows. 
crap. All right, this is bad news bears. Oh my goodness. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Let's get in the corner here. They're coming from all over. Oh, I'm not going to make it out of this. <clears throat> ah! That's so dumb. Alright, let's get... I don't have any armor here. We're gonna go find some armor and we'll be back. And here we are. We got some more armor. It's got some damage. That's fine. A little bow, power one, unbreaking one, and we got our good sword this time, so we're not being a foo. And uh, basically, the chunk's been unloaded because we went into the Nether. Now we just got to run down there and see how quickly we can get to these items that I just lost. And I'm pretty pumped. So I hope I don't act a fool again. Let's go down this way. And really I hear zombies all over the place, which is, but it's nighttime, so maybe they're not spawning down here as much. Hoping. Okay, I'm gonna take this dive. There we go, that's fine. And I believe we want to go this way, down this way. And how many of these guys got my stuff on? I have no idea. Oh, both my pickaxes. Yes. Okay, good. I don't know why they're not still here. Um, somebody's probably got my chest plate on. Outside of that, we're good to go. Whew. Now, before we get all jacked up about getting our stuff back, let's get some lights up in here, man. Okay, so there's some zombies dying. Um, we won't run out of narrows now. I, I stocked right back up on those. Oh crap, it can come from any direction. Just gotta get the cave lit up. Initially, it can be tough. Those zombies were just coming forever, man. And I know that generally is how the way it works anymore, but um, probably when I die, I make excuses. Kind of fits along the story of I want, you know, everybody wants a trophy for participation. The other thing is, you know, accountability on oneself when something goes wrong would be great too. A lot of times people want to say, well, it was because of this or that or... You know, always looking for the excuse instead of, hey, maybe I could have done a better job, you know? It's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm in, I'm in that little place. That little not so happy place. I wish there was more surface open. Um, when it comes to around the lava. This cave, I'm gonna get lost in. Promise you. And I hear spiders and zombies again, which are they're my favorite. There's the spider, and even a creeper. I think I got a little, little knockback on this one. So, come get some. Yeah, you're done. All right, I see another spider. Does that mean spawner? What does that mean? Nothing it means don't go in here because you're fixing to die. Do you hear those guys? I don't know. I turned it down because those stinking mobs were so annoying. Yeah, he's done. And you just go and fly back that way too. If you got the right equipment, it's not too bad. But if you come, you come to a gunfight with a spoon, you're gonna die. And it's not like I can just spawn in more of me like these jerks do. Well, now we know why we uh, upset some dudes. Because around this corner here, we got a little bit of action with a spawner. And we all love spawners. Except for it's a stinking zombie spawner, and I hate working with those. Yay, a golden apple. Cool. 
Happy with that? That's a good find. Alright. At least we got some stuff. We do have a spawner. I'm not sure how close it is to the old house. Uh, but pretty happy with it. We'll come back and get the goods. Well, guys, I think we got this thing lit up the best we can. We've got a spawner if we need it. We got spiders that keep falling down, and I've seen a lot of spiders in here. So I'm not sure where they're falling from, but I think for the most most part, we've got this thing done, and that will uh, wrap things up today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click a thumbs up. And oh. I've got more to do in here. We'll have to check that out. Anything good, I'll let you know next time, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Later.